Hello everybody, Matteo here again, and welcome you my little RC garage. Thanks for being here and watching this video. Today I'm going to show you something really special. Here you can see the CCO1 chassis. And as you may know, I worked a lot in the past with this cross-country chassis from Tamiya. Now I got a box from Italy and here inside is a complete conversion kit for this CCO1 chassis. And in this video I'll show you the installation of this conversion kit and what it changes on the chassis. Let's see what's in the box. First, the two chassis rails made in aluminum. And here is a bag with a lot of 3D printed parts. This looks as a rubber seal. And a bag with screws and other small parts. And they sent me also a t-shirt. Thanks for this. The company called 3D Rep is located in Italy and you can find the link to their website in the video description. So here are all the parts. A build manual is not included, but they have a complete build video on YouTube, so I use this as reference. Ok, let's start. As first I have to disassemble the gearbox of the original CCO1 chassis. Remove all the gears. Also the drive shaft. And this gear from below. Also the front suspension have to be disassembled to be able to remove the front differential. Now I can start with the new parts. First I have to install the motor plate to the gearbox housing. Here I use a bit of Loctite to be sure not to lose the screws by vibrations. Nuts must be used on the screws and so the motor plate holds with three bolts. Then I insert two ball bearings for the front differential. And then the differential. I have it already locked in my original CCO1 chassis. These two parts holds everything in place. Now I can add all the other gears. And the lower gear here. And close the rear gearbox cover. Here also, for these screws, nuts have to be inserted and after applying of a bit treadlock, I can screw on the part. Here you can see the result. Next I have to install the motor. But first I have to remove the original motor plate. Then I can install the motor on the new motor plate. As always, we have to be sure to adjust a proper gear lash. As next, I have to loosen again these four screws to gain a bit space to install the gearbox cover. Before I can install the cover, I have to add this rubber seal. Put it on correct place, then add a bit of grease and I'm ready to close the upper gearbox cover. Mm -hmm. 
Also here a nut is used and so the screw can be tightened. Four screws holds it together and we are ready now for a test of the new gearbox. And it looks good. I found out that it's important to have this yellow rubber seal behind the motor on the correct position. Otherwise it touches the gear and this resulting in a big noisy transmission. As last step to complete the gearbox I can install the pin and gear cover. And here you can see the gearbox is finished. Next we can start with the chassis. First I have to screw together these two parts. I have to check the correct orientation to get it straight and parallel. Then I can connect these parts to the chassis rails. Now I have to install two holders on the gearbox and insert a nut here. Next I can screw it on the gearbox. Here you can see it. Here the next nut have to be inserted and so I can install the gearbox to the chassis rails. This is the second screw and you can see the gearbox and chassis rails together. The next step is the installation of the rear cross member. I have to add nuts and then install it on the chassis rails at the rear. As you can see here I have already disassembled all suspension parts on the original CC01 chassis. And so I'm ready now to start with the installation of the suspension on the new chassis. As first, I use these parts to install the front lower wishbone. Then I have to change the ball head on the steering arms to the other side. Here I install the upper wishbone to the chassis. To tighten the screw I use the pliers. Now I can install the lower front suspension parts with two screws and nuts. Insert the bone and connect the upper wishbone to the C-hub. And the front suspension works. Now I screw on this ball head here for the damper. On the lower wishbone I have to remove this screw because on this position the damper have to be installed now. And press on the damper on the top. So and the front dampers are installed also.
For the steering I had to install this part on the servo arm and then two ball heads on each side. Now I can install the steering servo with four screws. I know, I need a more powerful servo. But I found only this one in my junk. I will upgrade this later. Now I can install the servo horn. After adjusting the length, the steering rods can be pressed on. And the steering works. And as you can see on a much more direct way as on the original CC01 chassis. Let's go to the rear suspension. First I install these two ball heads for the rear upper links. Then I can press on the upper links. Now I reinstall the drive shaft. As you can see there are a few holes to get the opportunity to reach different wheelbases. I use the short wheelbase and screw on the lower links. Now I can install the rear dampers. I use distance holders and fix it with a screw and a nut. As you can see, the rear suspension is finished. On the front end, I have to install this part. The position can be adjusted. Body holders for the classic CC01 bodies are included. But I do not install these yet, because I don't know which body I will use with this chassis. The next step is the installation of the battery holder. Then I can install the electronics, receiver and ESC with double sided tape. Here you can see the electronics installed and it looks as this chassis conversion is finished. For the installation of the battery I use a velcro band. And this is easy to do. The chassis keeps the CC01 characteristics with the rigid axle at the rear and the independent front suspension. But it offers a much better steering linkage, direct and so much more presses. And the construction allows to install longer dampers, something I really like to do on this chassis in the future. As I said, I don't know which body I'll use on this truck. Maybe a beetle body. Would be something nice, I think. The first impression of this chassis conversion is very good. Of course, I'll test this chassis on the trails and check the performance compared to the stock CC01. So stay tuned to see this. Subscribe to my channel you haven't already. And please give me a thumbs up if you liked this video. Thanks for watching and see you next time.